Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am showing a small exercise how to develop this ELV rack rooms or a security rack room how we can develop in a rivet. So I'm going to rivet. Then I just need to create one plan over here. Then you can go to insert tab and I just need, need to import the cat from the where I save it. So I've just uh, uh, save it from my local drives then i just want to insert that one so it will come like that so j just we need to create the walls and everything before that you can go to the south, south elevation and set the elevation so here i need uh, for example 3000 uh, for example i think uh, this is 4000 so just i need to set the elevations first then go to here the prayer uh, drawing area then we need to create the wall first right then what we need to do go to architectural and then go to wall and think before that you need to check the dimension of the wall uh, so we'll have a quick dimensions from here so it is showing like a 1100 uh, uh, something like that so you need to create the wall and then create uh, edit this edit this edit type then uh, duplicate this one i need to create this is uh, 100 tall the wall thickness uh, and then here is the structure is there so you can change here 1000 one, 100 tall for that structure then click ok then click ok so we can draw the uh, wall from here then you can choose the elevation uh, from here like this and you can make the uh, wall like this so for wherever it's coming the bending and everything you can make it and you can just uh, draw as per the CAD drawing we inserted like that you can make it and then go here up to here and then you can make the wall like that if you go to the 3d view so you can see the wall was created over here then can vv uh, uh, type vv and then you can just change the annotate from the annotation you can change the levels like this and you can put it that one and you can see it was created over here right so this height is around uh, uh, 4000 so you can see that uh, exactly what is the wall we created then go here and we can uh, put some uh, floors also here just architectural floors take a, uh, a rectangle from here just uh, uh, we can say like a 500 offset then you can just uh, click from here just make the uh, wall of uh, floors also here let's click that one so the floors will be creating over there okay right like that then you need to place the doors from here okay so just go to door and then you can place the uh, door families over here for example i am just creating the one door over here uh, you can check the uh, size of the door and everything you can get it from the here width we can say like uh, on 800 so it will uh, reduce like this okay so uh, we can okay we will keep it as it is and you can go to the 3d view how it's look it will be uh, looking like that right so you can you can off the clearances and everything Floor closer this one you can off it from here this one i think uh, show clearance zone so you can off it that one so you can see the door was created over here right so then uh, and then you can uh, put the it racks over here the the racks over here uh, once you created this one so you can delete the uh, a cat file from here otherwise you can keep it that one so we need to uh, place the our racks over here then go to system electrical equipment so we'll have some racks over here so you can place the racks uh, wherever you require the racks okay so just uh, place the racks like this and another rack over here then um, if you go to the 3d view you can see uh, the or rack was fixed over there right if you don't want to do this one uh, you can just uh, delete the uh, cat file then you can remove the cat file from here and uh, uh, you can just uh, make it like uh, uh, all the rack, rack where we place it you can see it over here so where before that you can just change the disciplines from here okay no issue so you can see that one and then we can run the cable tray where, where it's required and you can place the camera also here just go to system and security just go to security so we can play fix some cameras over here so you can just uh, fix it one camera over here like this then select the camera and uh, just uh, uh, just off the field view 
and you can see the camera was fixed over there and uh, you can give the height of the like uh, which the elevations uh, from here like 2500 something like that you can give and if you go to the 3d view you can see the camera was fixed over there right you can see it's, it was fixed there like this and then um, you can run the cable if you don't want this one you can delete that one then you can go to the cable tray so whichever cable tray you need you can just run the cable tray like this so you can change the elevations 3500 then you can run the cable tray like this and then uh, you can uh, run like this and it is going to the uh, panel like that right then if you need to make another uh, cable tray from here the small cable tray if it's required so then you can drop like that and if you go to the 3d view you can see the cable tray running like this you can give here fine you can clearly see it was uh, showing like that and you can shade it see it will be looking like this then you need to make the sections one section you need to make it from here like this you can make a one section and uh, you can see put like that then go to view then you can find it from here just change the scale then uh, you can drop the cable tray from the from here to down draw cable tray and make it down so it will dropping to the panel like this you can see it's 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 it's, it's coming like that dropping to the EL, uh, e security rack or elv rack like this and another cable tray also same thing you can just uh, make the another sections for this one just make one section go to view and then you can just uh, drop the cable tray to the panel like this you can drop it and where it's required you can move it that one also so go over the power and if if this cable tray is going outside you can just make the cable tray continuously like this and it is going to the uh, out of the wall and you can uh, you can create like uh, the filter for the cable tray vv and go to filter we can give some names for this cable tray right service type so we can say like a security uh, cable tray ct security ct so i'm copying this one this cable tray and then uh, vv then go to filter edit new just create new filter for this one just uh, this one and then select the category from here cable tray and uh, cable tray fittings equal to and then we can give to a service type equal to this this one then click ok then add that one i can get the uh, wherever the security uh, cable trace here just add that one and give the patterns over here so we can give the patterns from here and give some color for the security cable tray then click ok apply ok apply ok so it will come like that okay you can you can tab it this one and give the service types over here security camera security cable tray then it will show like that before that you need to do this uh, line also you need to just make it line uh, type also just to make the color for the line same thing and just to give a weight is four then click ok apply so it will show like that and you can give the tag for this one whichever uh, service types and everything so you can give the tags for this one so i'm just changing the scale and uh, here i just want to give this one like that and you can place the camera also here if you need the camera also you can place it no worry so just tag it the cable tray so i can tag it like that and you can just uh, make make like this okay so just if you want to edit that uh, cable tray tag edit family just a minute it is going to edit and you can just stretch this this one and you can add where uh, the service types also here just to add the service type and other uh, other if you want another things also you can add it to some bottom elevations or, or something like that you can add it that one uh, so just make it like uh, breaking this one I'm just breaking this one and load into the project just a loading project so right it will show the service type also here so which service type, uh, type we provided so that will show up over here like that just give me a second it will yeah so it is it is showing like this service type is showing uh, security camera and even even you can put the leaders from here leader from here just uh, leader 
then select this this one so give the leader like that and you can give the um, um, this rack name also just uh, uh, just we can uh, select the rack then you can give the panel name for here just to giving that uh, active rack and another one you can give like uh, uh, pass your rack okay so this one i can say like uh, uh, panel name pass your rack so then you can tag it this one so it will show like this okay right like that and then you can give the uh, arrow heads uh, for, for this one you can just uh, select this one and edit type so leader you can change to this one so it will it will come like this and here also you can give the tag like this it will show uh, actually like this and uh, then go to 3d view and even even you can uh, implemented uh, your filters over here also you go to filter and add this one uh, security cable tray select that one click ok and pattern you can add it solid fill then here like that and you can ok apply ok so it will show like this then uh, what we can do other one we can make, if you need to make uh, some sections right so you can uh, clearly you can uh, give some sections for each of the this one so for example i am rotating this section like 90 degree then uh, it will uh, you can see uh, all the sections like that you can adjust the section range up to here you can stretch up to here then structure to here and go to view then you can see the cable tray uh, sections and you can give the tag for each uh, racks like this you can give the tags and uh, um, something like i will I need to just stretch up to exactly like this okay so then you can go to the view you can see clearly see the section view right so if you want to give a shader so you can uh, it will get like this then you can give that uh, the, the cable tray tags like this on free end and then uh, free just select the free end then give the tag like this and from here also you can give the tag like this then here uh, if you need to give a, a tag for this cable tray so you can give the tag like that okay and and then uh, then you need to make the dimensions for this one so you can make the dimensions uh, wherever you require the dimension so you can make it from here to the bottom of the cable tray you can give the dimensions clearly uh, from wall to this panel you can give the dimensions like uh, uh, just tab it and then give the dimensions like that and from here to here how much distance is required you can give the dimensions also from here and the, from the wall to this cable tray how much it is coming so you can give that one also so this is the simple exercise uh, wherever you require the cable tray uh, dimensions you can give the dimensions and everything and you can make the clear uh, sections for each part and uh, uh, if you want to change the scale for this one you can change the scale also like that you can make the section so you you need to make the section other way so you can make uh, create similar and uh, you can otherwise you can copy this one cc for copy and you just rotate this section like the rotation and uh, 90 degree and then you can give the go to view and you can make the uh, elevations like that like that also and then just you need to give the tag for each part like that you can give that each section um, the uh, uh, the texts annotations and everything just tag it and clear it like this like that okay so this is the one method and you can just make the dimensions for each part like this you can make the different different sections like this from here to wall you can make the uh, dimensions and uh, i i hope this uh, exercise is helpful for you to make the elv rack sections and um, the elv room simple elv room how to prepare it thanks for watching thank you